Hello! Welcome to this short tutorial to show you how to place your hands and knees when you're in a um, tabletop. So from the tabletop here, it can be sometimes difficult to get an idea of um, the positioning. It will depend on your body shape, but the essentials usually are place your hands right under the shoulders so you can see that your wrist is starting to be a little bit creased. Thumbs pointing towards one another, middle fingers pointing forward. The knees, they're hip width apart so they have a little space and they are under the hips. So from the torso to the hip to the knee it's more or less a 90 degree angle. This is what it looks from the front. Also, my feet are being eclipsed behind my knees, meaning they cannot be seen because then they are aligned. Your outer shoulder width. I've got fairly wide shoulders, so for me, this makes it look, you can see my legs in between my arms because I'm a little bit broader on the shoulders. You might be slightly shorter. From here, there are variations that can be created by, if you have issues with the shoulders, the wrists, um, tendonitis, tennis elbow, or simply not feeling so strong in your wrists, you may take the hands slightly further forward and bend the elbows. But if you do bend the elbows, you're going to rotate the eyes of the elbows, so here, in line with the space between your thumb and your index finger, so that you can slightly bend them and be comfortable here. You can also take your hands into fists. So fists, elbows, shoulders aligned. Of course here the angle of the back is slightly higher so I am not so much in line with my hips, I'm just a little longer. But again this depends on the length of your limbs if you like. If the knees are giving you jips there are also options of um, taking a support. You could have a, a rolled up blanket or you could come so that your shins are on the bricks or on the block or on your belt yet your knees are slightly hanging off. From this what if you would like to come into puppy posture? So again puppy posture from the hands and knees is often something that I am being asked about. So you are into your hands and knees Poppy posture, you leave your hips and your knees in line, but you extend the arms forward so that you can get the stretch into the pectorals. And then it's up to you, depending on, the, on your back, whether you want to release the arms down, the forehead down, the chest down. Some might even be able to release the chest all the way down and gaze forward. This might not be so comfortable for other people's back, in which case you can Tuck the tailbone under and lengthen, so as if you were taking a, a pelvic tilt, which you are. How do we get from our tabletop into our down dog? Currently, hands are under the shoulders. We're going to take the hands forward. Allow the head to dangle down. Tuck the toes and then bring yourself up into a down dog. First down dog, keep the knees bent so that you can work on stretching the spine, pressing the hands down, allowing the head to dangle. And then you might want to think about stretching the legs back and maybe even releasing the heels to the floor. Up onto the toes, back down to the knees, take the hands under the shoulders or sit back into your heels, into your child's posture. There you have it. Have a little try at those variations and let me know how you get on. Namaste.